Hi, it's Andrew. Um, in this video, I want to tell you about the pulse oximeter. This is an oxygen sensor. I'll go ahead and put it on and push the button. So I bought this on eBay and I'll put a link in the description as to where I got it from. Um, it was a pretty good deal. I don't remember off the top of my head what I paid for it, but it's quite inexpensive. And as you can see, I've got 97 blood oxygen with a pulse of 57. So I'm doing quite nicely. A few months ago I went to the emergency room because I had a gallbladder attack. I thought I was going, to, I would have passed out. I knew what it was, what was going on. Um, but I thought I was gonna pass out if the pain was any more intense. So uh, when I was in the emergency room, they said, uh, they you know hook you up to every device known to man. And my blood oxygen level was at 90, bouncing at 89 to 90. And they expressed concern about that. I looked up online about um, what uh, should be standard. 95 and above is good. Uh, if you have blood oxygen 89 or below, you're running some risks. If it's really low, you're running some serious risks. Cancer thrives in a low oxygen environment. Your body needs oxygen, basically. So, um, I decided to buy this, and I was nervous about the quality of it, if it was effective. Um, now you can see it dropped to 95. It doesn't stay the same. I'm doing a lot of talking and not enough breathing. So, um, but anyway, uh, I was nervous about the quality of it. Was it going to be effective? And I recently went to the doctor for just a, a checkup and they uh, tested my blood oxygen. And I happened to test mine the exact same day, and then when I came home I tested it again, and it is very accurate, uh, this device here, compared to theirs. Now, I will say that light, uh, it, it works better in a dark environment. The one that the doctor had had kind of a rubber boot that went over this part so no light would shine. But if you just put your finger over, like that, it can get a more accurate reading. So just like that, then you can see my pulse going up and down. Oh, I read that upside down, didn't I? Yeah, 91 pulse. And a 94, oh, nine, sorry. 95 blood oxygen and an 82 pulse. So when you first put it on, sometimes it takes a while. But anyway, it was just as accurate uh, as the one at the doctor's office, and I think it was $20. It comes with the lanyard, some other stuff, but like I said, I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy it. Yeah, here's the lanyard, and a little, there was a little bag that it comes with so it doesn't get all scratched up. So anyway, it's great. Uh, if you need to monitor your blood oxygen or your pulse, it's instant and it's accurate and it's cheap so you can and it's quality so all around win anyway i hope that helps if you've got uh something that you use to monitor your blood oxygen um or you know if you've got any questions or comments let me know in the section below and if you want more health related videos i do cooking and healthy tips and things that work for me reviews on any of that kind of stuff on this channel so click the subscribe button. Otherwise, have a great day.